daily video Bible reading from the Net Bible, Numbers chapter 7 and 8 from the Old Testament. When Moses had completed setting up the tabernacle, he anointed it and consecrated it in all its furnishings, and he anointed and consecrated the altar and all its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their clans, made an offering. They were the leaders of the tribes. They were the ones who had been supervising the numbering. They brought their offering before the Lord, six covered carts and twelve oxen, one cart for every two of the leaders and an ox for each one, and they presented them in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Receive these gifts from them, that they may be used in doing the work of the tent of meeting, and you must give them to the Levites, to every man as his service requires. So Moses accepted the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites as their service required. And he gave four carts and eight oxen to the Merarites as their service required, under the authority of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. But to the Kohathites he gave none, because the service of the holy things, which they carried on their shoulders, was their responsibility. The leaders offered gifts for the dedication of the altar when it was anointed, and the leaders presented their offering before the altar. For the Lord said to Moses, They must present their offering, one leader for each day, for the dedication of the altar. The one who presented his offering on the first day was Nashon, son of Amminadab, from the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nashon, son of Amminadab. On the second day, Nathanael, son of Zawar, leader of Issachar, presented an offering. He offered for his offering one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl, weighing 70, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Nathanael, son of Zawar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helon, leader of the Zebulonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing ten shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizer, son of Shedir, leader of the Reubenites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold pan weighing ten shekels, full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliezer, son of Shedir. 
On the fifth day, Shelumiel, son of Zerushadai, leader of the Simeonites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold pan weighing 10 shekels, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering. One male goat for a purification offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Shelumiel, son of Zerushadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaph, son of Duel, leader of the Gadites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold pan weighing 10 shekels, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Eliasaph, son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amihad, leader of the Ephraimites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bowl, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bowls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Amihad. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedeazer, leader of the Manassehites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering. One male goat for a purification offering. And for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pediazer. On the ninth day, Abidon, son of Gideoni, leader of the Benjaminites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Abidon, son of Gideoni. On the tenth day, Ahiezer, son of Amashadai, leader of the Danites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bowl, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahiezer, son of Amashadai. 
On the eleventh day, Pagiel, son of Ochran, leader of the Asherites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering, one gold pan weighing 10 shekels full of incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Pegliel, son of Akron. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enon, leader of the Naphtalites, presented an offering. His offering was one silver platter weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels both according to the sanctuary shekel, each of them full of fine flour mixed with olive oil as a grain offering. One gold pan weighing ten shekels, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, one male goat for a purification offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two bulls, five rams, five male goats, and five lambs in their first year. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Enon. This was the dedication for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver sprinkling bowls, and twelve gold pans. Each silver platter weighed a hundred and thirty shekels, and each silver sprinkling bowl weighed seventy shekels. All the silver of the vessels weighed 2,400 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. The twelve gold pans full of incense weighed ten shekels each, according to the sanctuary shekel. All the gold of the pans weighed 120 shekels. All the animals for the burnt offerings were twelve young bulls, twelve rams, twelve male lambs in their first year, with their grain offering and twelve male goats for a purification offering. All the animals for the sacrifice for the peace offering were twenty-four young bulls, sixty rams, sixty male goats, and sixty lambs in their first year. These were the dedication offerings for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him, from above the atonement lid that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim. Thus he spoke to him. The Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to Aaron and tell him, When you set up the lamps, the seven lamps are to give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He set up the lamps to face toward the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. This is how the lampstand was made. It was beaten work in gold, from its shaft to its flowers it was beaten work, according to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses, so he made the lampstand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Take the Levites from among the Israelites and purify them, and do this to them to purify them. Sprinkle water of purification on them, then have them shave all their body and wash their clothes, and so purify themselves. Then they are to take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with olive oil, and you are to take a second young bull for a purification offering. You are to bring the Levites before the tent of meeting and assemble the entire community of the Israelites. Then you are to bring the Levites before the Lord, and the Israelites are to lay their hands on the Levites. And Aaron is to offer the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the Israelites that they may do the work of the Lord. When the Levites lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, offer the one for a purification offering and the other for a whole burnt offering to the Lord to make atonement for the Levites. You are to have the Levites stand before Aaron and his sons and then offer them as a wave offering to the Lord. And so you are to separate the Levites from among the Israelites and the Levites will be mine. After this, the Levites will go in to do the work of the tent of meeting, so you must cleanse them and offer them like a wave offering. 
for they are entirely given to me from among the Israelites. I have taken them for myself, instead of all who open the womb, the firstborn sons of all the Israelites. For all the firstborn males among the Israelites are mine, both humans and animals. When I destroyed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I set them apart for myself. So I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn sons among the Israelites. I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the Israelites to do the work for the Israelites in the tent of meeting and to make atonement for the Israelites so there will be no plague among the Israelites when the Israelites come near the sanctuary. So Moses and Aaron and the entire community of the Israelites did this with the Levites according to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites. This is what the Israelites did with them. The Levites purified themselves and washed their clothing. Then Aaron presented them like a wave offering before the Lord, and Aaron made atonement for them to purify them. After this, the Levites went in to do their work in the tent of meeting before Aaron and before his sons. As the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did. Then the Lord spoke to Moses. This is what pertains to the Levites. At the age of 25 years and upward, one may begin to join the company in the work of the tent of meeting. And at the age of 50 years, they must retire from performing the work and may no longer work. They may assist their colleagues in the tent of meeting to attend to needs, but they must do no work. This is the way you must establish the Levites regarding their duties. God, you know, it's amazing that with all this repetition and historical significance and all these rules and regulations, right in the middle is something just absolutely glorious. And I don't want us to miss it when you're speaking to Moses to tell Aaron to set up the lamps a certain way. Um, I just love that part. Here's these beautiful, gorgeous gold lampstands and you're having them set up so that they give light in front of the lampstand. <laughs> right in front of the lampstand, where that light is shining on, are the 12 loaves of bread representing the 12 tribes of Israel with your glorious light shining down on them. And I think that it's really important for us to remember that even though it sometimes feels like we are, well, I can only speak for me, that sometimes we are chastised children, uh, that it seems like some days we just can't get anything right and we're uh, being disciplined for things. We have to remember that it's because you love us so much that you are willing to make us better people, uh, to walk closer and right underneath your glorious light. And your whole purpose for doing this is so that we can be part of your family, so that we can live gloriously with you eternally. We have to remember that no matter what, all of this goes back to love. All of this goes back to how much you love us and how much you take care of us. It's amazing to me watching you take care of Israel through the, the orderliness, through the rules and regulations, through the specifications, uh, even through the discipline <laughs> that you had to do with them. And we'll continue to see that quite a bit. Uh, as they move into Canaan. But I just love this little simplicity of, I want these lamps to be turned so their light shines down on these 12 tribes of Israel. You can almost hear just how proud you are of them and how much you truly love them. And God, I know today that your love is just shining down on us. And I hope that we just hold that really tight to us today as we go through our day and walk it with you. Thank you so much, God. I love you very much. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <music>